Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Microwave. Today I wanted to talk about snipers in every capacity, specifically glass and the two second detection timer for the defenders leaving the building. So there's been quite a few talks about how glass doesn't fit into the game currently and that there needs to be a buff on him to make him a more effective operator. Currently, glass is equipped with the OTS-03, which is a Dragunov SVU bullpup semi-automatic sniper rifle. His weapon does about 152 damage per round, but honestly it feels more like 75 damage. I don't know how many times I've shot Rook four or five times in the chest just to have him walk away. So one of the suggestions that I've seen is that Glass should get a bolt action rifle and that his round should put somebody in the down but not out stance when hitting the chest regardless of armor. So to give a good answer on what I think should happen, we first must understand how the game is played. Currently, all the maps are designed to have close quarter battles, CQB, with a few selected raised platforms for an operator such as Glass to snipe from. However, these platforms are easily countered by the defenders. All it takes is for somebody to pull down a barricade and fire one or two rounds because if the attackers have a glass, there's a high chance they'll be on one of those raised platforms. So the maps are designed to encourage players to breach inside the rooms or floors and secure parts of the map all while working toward the objective. So while your team is pushing inside the building, you're unfortunately sitting outside covering three to four windows, maybe a door, all while hoping somebody runs past them so that way you can snipe them off or give a good call out to your team. Now if your team dies or needs your help because you've been waiting waiting outside and spotting for about two minutes, you have to jump down off your perch and head all the way up to meet your team. So now you, as a sniper, are entering the CQB area with a semi-automatic sniper rifle that doesn't take down an operator unless you hit them in the chest multiple times or in the head. Of course you can kill people, but you have a huge disadvantage because currently the game is heavily favored upon high fire rate weapons such as the F2 and the MP5. Weapons like the UMP and C1 fall off because of their slow rate of fire. Of course they're better than their counterparts the shotguns for range but the chances of you winning a 1v1 drops dramatically because they aren't putting enough rounds down range and we all know that more lead increases the chance of getting that sweet sweet headshot the only advantage glass has is the ability to penetrate castles gadget and the aircraft windows which both are highly situational so since the game is cqb based and with glass having a slow rate of fire weapon that doesn't hit hard he becomes this half-ass sniper now when inside the building you can only hope to get the drop and pump two to three rounds in their chest before they can turn around and fire 10 to 15 rounds at you in a split second. Now if you're ranged and you're lucky enough to take somebody down, good luck finishing them off because when they go down there's a high chance that there's a railing or a wall that will prevent you from getting the final blow. I don't know how many times I've put two rounds into somebody only to have them fall down and crawl safely back to their teammate to get revived. All because I couldn't penetrate a window wall or the aircraft fuselage. I mean it honestly feels that Ubisoft added glass and some of those scissor lifts just to say that there's an option, however small, to snipe in this game. Further evidence is supported by the fact that he has a flip down scope. It must have been given to him because the developers know that this game is all about close proximity engagements. And after sitting outside for a while, a glass has to come inside at one point or another. So going back to the first suggestion, does glass need a bolt action rifle? And I would have to say without a doubt that he does need one. Now with a bolt action rifle and higher damage output, he would excel more inside and outside the building. Instead of being bad at both, he would be high risk, high reward operator. Now what do you mean by this microwave? What are you talking about? Well if Glass had a bolt action rifle with an extremely slow reload speed, it would require him to be on point with his accuracy. Now if you missed your first round while in CQB, it would almost certainly be your last moment in that round, without a doubt. But in the off chance that you do hit them with that one round, you will be rewarded with an opponent in the down but not out stance. As for the actual model or weapon used for this bolt action rifle, it's completely irrelevant. I mean, I can make a whole video about this argument, but instead, I'll let you guys decide. So instead, I wanted to talk about the basics. I firmly believe that Glass needs to throw away his OTS semi-automatic sniper rifle and pick up a bolt-action rifle that will put somebody in the down but out out stance with one round to the chest regardless of rook armor or not. However, the weapon has to have an extremely slow rate of fire and a reload speed. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. This isn't Counter-Strike, dude. What the hell are you talking about? We don't need an AWP in the game. Well, let me explain. Explain. As I said before, there are a ton of rails and walls that people can go prone behind and crawl from one location to another so that way they don't get hit by glass. So if you do get sniped in the chest, there's a chance that you can crawl all the way back to your team and get safely revived. So having this change would not be a one hit or quitter like the AWP in Counter-Strike. If you were to get shot in the legs or arms, it should take two hits to take you down, unless of course you get shot in the head, which would be an insta-give. Now you might be asking yourself, what about another operator with a bolt-action rifle? What makes you think 
think that they won't bring another operator with one. Well, I can guarantee that that operator would do exactly what Glass does, but 10 times better. So nobody would play him after that. Another suggestion I've heard is that he needs a 12 times scope. Now I would have to completely disagree with this because as I said before, the game is all about CQB situations. So having a 12 times scope would hurt him way more than it would help him. There would be no reason to use his primary indoors because you would be scoping in doorknobs from all the way across the map. The last suggestion I've heard is that his round should have armor penetration since they can penetrate everything but concrete in the game. Sure, he'd be play more, but I firmly believe that a semi-automatic sniper rifle that can take down a low target armor with one round would hurt the game way more than it would help it. Now you might say, but microwave, it's realistic. One shot man with a dragon of would kill you. It would staple you to the wall or concrete. Well, this may be true, but what about padding the wounds and getting you back into the fight? Or carrying two reinforced barricades in your back pocket? Or a million wooden barricades with a drill in your pocket as well? So I think Glass should get his bolt action rifle and they should just call it a day. I think this would make him way more viable and more people would play him. I know I would. I currently have about 24 hours played on him and he's about a 6% pick rate on PC alone. So it's quite low. So moving on from the glass conversation, I wanted to talk about the two second detection rate for the defenders. So if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I love Tom Clancy books and of course I've read the Rainbow Six book. I think twice now actually. So I'd like to throw some story background in here while I'm on the subject. Now in the books, there were two teams and both had two snipers. These snipers would find a position whether it be high up or down low and would sit and wait for the weapons free green light command. The snipers would set up in location to gain the best view of the building overall. If any movement or changes happen, the snipers would immediately give the intel to their commander and the team. Currently in the game, it takes two seconds for someone to be marked with their location if they leave the building and they are defending the objective. So to stay closer to the storyline, I would like to see an immediate alert sent to the attacking team saying that someone is outside and after two seconds, their direct location would be sent to them via the HUDs. This will allow the defenders to still peek but keep more in line with how the original book was written and it is after all a game because of Tom Clancy. There is no reason why a team of elite soldiers handpicked from NATO forces should not be alerted by the snipers that someone is outside followed by he's located here. So this is what I would like to see in the game but who am I kidding? We all know hashtag smokes the real sniper. I'd like to know what you guys think so leave a comment below and as always if you guys liked it I'd really appreciate it thumbs up and if for some reason you really liked it you should tap the subscribe button like it's hot i'll see you guys next time oh, high noon high noon